Alex, what we have here is the HBZ compact cell. Now, uh, formerly these were, were Hantman machines and that's what our viewers will know them as. But obviously there's been a management buyout, it's now uh, Barvius Technologies that supply these machines. Tell our audience what this machine is and what it's used for. Uh, this machine is uh, also especially designed for um, plate material and cubic material for the aerospace industry, mainly because they use a lot of aluminum. Um, this machine and the head is dedicated for high movements, high metal removing. And the compact cell, is it, is it com it's called compact because it does sit in, a, in a quite a small footprint, doesn't it, for a machine with a working envelope of this size? I would say the biggest benefit for, for the operator and for the end user is the easy and the nice maintain area where you, where you load and unload the part that's um, in a perfect height. And uh, yeah, the footprint of the machine is pretty, pretty small. Everything is uh, located pretty compact and this is the reason why the name is coming from. And we've seen it machine today. It is a very, very fast machine. Maybe you could tell us uh, just how quick it is and uh, you know, what sort of results you can get from this type of machine. Uh, in this machine, we're using a 63 kilowatt spindle with a HSK 63 um, A tool holder. Um, we have a rapid speed in all linear axis of 60 meters a minute and also a rapid uh, movement of the rotary axis of 300 degrees per second. Now when you are removing or, or making a lot of chips you need to get them out the machine effectively and efficiently. I do notice here you, ha you have got a, a very big uh, chip conveyor on this. But what are you actually doing with the swarf, the other end of the machine, and the coolant? Uh, we installed a chip compactor on the back side to manage the huge amount of chips we are able to create with this machine. And also the horizontal um, way to cut the parts allows us to evacuate the chips immediately. As we have chips, we can evacuate it and they don't bother us during the, the, uh, the further operations. And you must use a lot of coolant though as well in this process. Is there a way of re recycling that that you, uh, that you use? Uh, we use for about 1,600 liters of coolant for this machine type. There is a coolant purification plant on the back side where uh, some certain filters are responsible for, for refreshing the coolant to, to get them back into the cycle. So the whole thing, including the chip compactor, is a closed cycle that we lose as less coolant as possible. This, this machine, when you're machining as fast as you are, yeah. it, it's not gonna, gonna move and rattle and uh, eventually lose all its uh, geometrics and its, um, its accuracies? No, because it's one solid piece. Um, it's one solid welded structure. Um, there is no, no, no point where, where, we, where we lose the accuracy because yeah, it's one block. One of the things I noticed uh, about being here today as well is the use of the Siemens control. Uh, in the UK, we have uh, the, the Heidenhain is a very popular solution for engineers. Do you offer variances here or is it just Siemens? Uh, we have uh, the Heidenhain control is well available, but um, our experience in the past shows us that uh, we would say 90% 90, 90 of all machines for our needs, of our customer needs, are equipped with the Siemens 840D control and this is pretty common in the aerospace industry. And I suppose it needs a very fast processing time which is, is what the Siemens has to, get the, to crunch the code, to get it into the machine and get the machine moving as fast as it is. Yes, for aerospace parts we always have complicated 5-axis simultaneous controls and the Siemens control have a perfect fit for, for handle this, 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 this uh, lot of sentences, lot of commands they need to process to get a nice and smooth part surface quality and that's the main target, get a nice surface. Yeah, surface finish is key and you can do that if you've got a solid machine. Uh, last question for you, what if this machine wasn't big enough to cope uh, with a part that you had, so you had a much bigger part than this machine has got, do these go bigger? Yes, we built the compact cell up to four meters in X direction and one meter in Y direction. So, and if this machine is too small, we have the aerocell and yeah, we build a bigger one. That's it.